another Hannibal pick. And okay. It's Kanye West, my beautiful uh-huh. twisted dark fantasy. Oh yeah, uh huh, yeah. This album, <laughs> this album. I, 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 listen, <laughs> yeah, the Minecraft album. <laughs> <laughs> no, this 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 album art is has been digitally blurred. A- am I correct, Monty? Like we we specifically blurred this out. What? Uh, yes, because this is what the album looks like. Yeah, no, there's that, that, that. Okay, so I saw, I've seen different album covers. There's a bunch podcast. of them. This is the one that mainly they show. But yeah, yeah, even the unblurred, still trash. Yeah, the one. Yeah, the okay. So yeah, the 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 unblurred version of this is like okay. Look, first off, let me talk about the project, right? Yeah, and and let me lead by saying. I don't love this album the way everybody else does. Like what I notice about Kanye West fans or people that like Kanye West music, there are errors of Kanye West music. So if you fell in love with Kanye at the beginning of his career, then you probably one of your favorite Kanye projects is college dropout, late registration, graduation, right? Yeah. If you became a fan of Kanye West after uh, 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 808s and Heartbreaks, then my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is your favorite Kanye West project, right? And I am not going to negate the greatness of this project because this project is exceptional, okay? From the intro to the very last song, right? It is not it is not skippable. Uh, I think yeah. Runaway is a brilliant song. Yes, I think uh, 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 The Blame Game, like oh. in its eight-minute piece, I was actually having this conversation with our head songwriter Cole Love the other day yep. on Blame Game where he's telling the story of what's happening between in the in the verses where he's telling the story between what's happening between him and his love interest like there's yeah. this thing where like he'll say a line and in the echoes like like the, the 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 engineer would echo the line that Kanye just said and it would get deeper in tone so he'd yeah. be like you know I took her out to eat that cheese steak 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 and it was yeah. like and it would get chopped and screwed and it would get more distorted and grimy and stuff and it was like it was for me, as a musician, what it sounded like was he would describe it like it was the, the happiness that you feel at the beginning of a relationship versus when you feel how you start to feel once you've been with that motherfucker for a couple of couple of years afterwards. Right. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, all of that stuff that used to make you love that person that you thought was cute. After a while, it starts to get on your fucking nerves. And the way that the engineer was able to create that sound with with the mixing was yeah. fantastic. There yeah. are lots of things like that throughout this entire project that sonically make this project amazing. Like the way it feels, the way it sounds. Um it has some 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 quality singles on here. Uh uh uh, uh All of the Lights was a big single. I actually yeah. hate that song by the way. Is that really one of one of my least favorite Kanye West songs. That, that, that I hate the production on that song. It just sounds like a fucking mess to me. It just sounds like somebody just loaded up the drum arpeggiator on their keyboard and just mashed it down and all the drums were like doo-doo, 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 doo-doo. like it's like what is this? I don't know what the fuck this is. It just sounds like a hot mess. But lots of people love the record and I'm not here to shit on the record, right? I think the power song, uh the the, the beat for power produced by S1 incredible love that beat i wish i loved kanye's song as much as i love the beat that he put on that shit right but <laughs> the production on his album is fantastic the features is great monster is incredible Nicki minaj gave us one of hip-hop's finest verses the, probably the yeah, best verse did. i've ever heard from her in her yeah. life that and maybe like roman's revenge right yeah like no, monster is still my favorite Nicki verse there are so many great things to say about this album despite that and i don't love this album but i can Object objectively tell you why this album is fantastic. Yeah, this yeah. album art looks like a a a a, a, a pickaninny, <laughs> or it looks like a person, a, a black person in blackface. It looks like when they used to draw like racist ads of black people in like the twenties. Yeah, and then there's a naked white lady on top of him. Yeah. Okay, so this album cover is literally ass. Yeah, it is. It is literally, literally ass. And for this album to be so widely regarded as one of the great all-time hip-hop projects, 
right? Not, not, not even just a hip-hop project, but just as one of the great all-time albums, end of sentence, full stop. And to give us this, trash. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. No, I'm, I agree. I agree. Do you really? Yeah. No, no fucking shit. Get the fuck I, out of I here. I agree with you. Wait, like wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a shit. All right. Hold uh, uh, Ace Wonder, you got any thoughts about this project? Any, any, anything uh, you want to say about this? I get absolutely nothing from the artwork. Uh, the, the album itself, I think by the time he got to this album, I was basically just picking a couple joints off of every album. I, mm-hmm. You know, I, I wasn't enjoying these all the way through by this point. I was one of the early adopters, you know. Yeah. Uh, college dropout, late registration, graduation. So, yeah, I definitely have songs on here that I love, but it's not a, a listen all the way through for me. Gotcha. All right. All right. What about the album art? I don't even know how to give you anything <laughs> that matters on that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It, it looked like they're just playing, like, I, I'm about to show my age, but it looked like they're playing, like, Dr. J versus Larry Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty six hundred. Yeah. 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 The, the, listen, the, so Wikipedia has a write up on this. The album's artwork designed by George Kondo show, shows Kanye West being straddled on a couch by an armless winged female who has fearsome features and a long spotted tail. Both are nude with West holding a beer. Uh, 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 Bailey, I don't know who that is. Bailey sees Kondo style for the cover as pop, surrealist, and cubist, portraying various aspects of West album themes. He also asserts that it is royal red color is symbolic of passion, love, anger, and of course blood, marked by starkness. According to Vulture, writer Dan Qua, the mythical figure straddling West is a kind of fragment between a sphinx, a a phoenix, a haunting ghost, and a harpy. The artwork was done at Condo Studio after Wes visited for several hours, and they listened to tapes of his music. Over the next few days, the painter designed eight or nine paintings for the album. Two of them were portraits of Wes, an extreme close-up with mismatched eyes and four sets of teeth. The portrait showing a uh, portrait showing his head crowned and decapitated, placed sideways on a white slab. That actually would have been dope as shit. Uh, that was the cover, one sword. of the covers they used for power. Okay. Kondo also did a painting of a uh, dis, uh, dispe- dyspeptic ballerina in a black tutu and one of a crown of the crown alongside the sword in a greasy landscape. He made the five cover he made five covers in total which were all included in the purchase of my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. A second cover that contains the, a painting of the ballerina was posted on Amazon for pre-order. Um, yeah, like this is another one of them covers where like somebody's trying to explain to me the high art in it, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I, and and this this just could be my 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 artistic ignorance. So you know, Monty, if you if you got something like like when when you hear that description. Of, yeah. of what the artist did and intended. What do you take away from that as an artist yourself? Good job, bad job. Do you get it? Do you hate it? Tell, like, 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 break it down to us, Monty. It's the same as what I always say. It sounds as crazy as Kanye. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, art, art is expression. Mm-hmm. Art is expression. You, you will get these deep ideas. And yes, some people will see more in a piece than others will. But initially. If you hit your mark, as if you convey that emotion right out the gate to anybody, mm-hmm. and you didn't, you didn't, you just sound crazy. You okay, sound crazy. You sound sound yeah. like you're trying to talk me in to eating this sandwich that I know is bad because I know what you put in it. Mm-hmm. You, you know it's Arby's because you you see it in the bag. I yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Can't hide the meats. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Brum, like brum, no. Brum, I, brum. <laughs> Uh, and and I look, I myself will get very artsy with shit. There will be some elements of some of my work that everybody's not going to see right out the gate. But mm-hmm. the job, the initial job, is to convey the emotion on the first look. The rest yeah. is for you to dig in and find it. The whole piece can't be dig in and find it. Mm-hmm. It can't be. It just yeah. can't. 
like this feels like and and like like Ace, Ace might feel me on this one, right? Like this feels like when somebody wants us to make beats on the spot for them. Well, we have a collection of great things already like like started or pre-designed or pre-created that we can build on and add to or whatever. And they're like, nah, man, I want you to make something from scratch. So then we make something from scratch and it's fine, right? And it's like, but it, is it as good as it could have been? No, not yeah, at all. Right. And it's yeah. like, like, and I, I can see people finding deeper meaning in this and being like, no, because what it's supposed to represent is this and that. And I'm just like, yeah, like my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, when I hear those words, right? And then you show me what looks like uh, uh, um, a, a racist ad from the, the from J- the Jim Crow era, right? Yeah. With like the big lip pygmies from like a Disney cartoon with a naked white lady sitting on top of him. I honestly expected Monty to be like, man, y'all are wrong. This cover is fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. So look, listen, listen. I, that's what I get. Preconceived notions. I was wrong, Monty, about this. I thought you was gonna like this. Thought you was gonna fight us down on this one, and you didn't. And I'm surprised. And I like, always hated for this all album. the albums that we listed here. When I think of the greatness of the like the the the, the chasm that exists between the greatness of the project on one end yeah. and the um the 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 the, the, the shittiness of the album art. There yeah. is no greater chasm in any of the picks that I made than my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. All From right. The, the like the, the greatness of this album next to the shittiness of this album cover. I do not like this, and I don't like I don't like this album cover, and I haven't liked any of the versions of this album cover that I've seen before. Yeah, yeah, no, they're all bad. They're all just yeah. Bad. I'm I'm not I'm not a fan. And like I said, and this could just be that I don't know enough about uh, visual art or paint paintings in order to be able to express why this is good but yeah. i can tell you as a hip-hop fan it's ass y'all 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 finished or y'all done i ain't got no more talking sweet halloween in collard greens